Speaking of the rich and their wealthy, this guy explains it in an inter interesting way. You can't just take rich people's money. Why not? They took it from us. How else do you think somebody gets a single billion, let alone hundreds of billions? You could get paid a million dollars a day and still have to work 1,000 days at a million dollars to get just one billion. People are out here with hundreds of billions. Well, it's stock appreciation. That's how they got it. Okay, how does a stock appreciate? It's valuable. Where does value come from? From people doing work. Oh, your company is going to make all the cars electric, gonna take us to Mars, gonna cure cancer, gonna do whatever. Who's gonna do that? Workers are gonna do that. Without True. them doing it, your company is valueless. People producing the value do not get the wealth. It all goes to one guy who takes the value from everybody working for him and now has hundreds of billions of dollars. So take it back. Unionize their companies. Set up all pass possible paths of compensation to benefit workers. That's what they did to create billionaires in the first place. That's literally, I mean, he's doing a very good job of breaking down how, uh, how, how labor generates value under capitalism. Uh, he's doing a very good job without saying like those terms. I, I agree. This man with a mullet is, is spitting. Okay. And ultimately, ultimately he's doing a good job, but a lot of people don't take away the genuine lessons that are supposed to be instilled here. Like most people don't understand. It's not like being anti-capitalist is not about just like being like, Oh, I hate rich people. I think the animosity towards rich people is valid, adequate, understandable, a good starting point. For agitated propaganda but this isn't like oh yeah we're coming for your toothbrush that's red scare propaganda and because people's minds have been so warped by red scare propaganda that even leftists who think that they are on the right path turn around and literally just say become the meme that the right has presented them as okay let's just reverse it if that sounds crazy, it's not any crazier than what we have now, which is a single person with 200, who, who could lose $200 billion and still be the second richest person on earth at the same time that two thirds of the country is living paycheck to paycheck. That's crazy. Pick any metric. The system that we have right now is a joke and it's only working for the people who set it up to work that way.